Temperatures dropping into the 70s during the overnight period. The latest on Hurricane Elsa is that kind of defying what you would normally think with a very fast moving storm. It continues to intensify. Just one of those kind of reminders that there are so much about the weather and meteorology that we still do not understand, but it definitely has that structure and the thunderstorms, whereas they had been blossoming earlier, starting to fall apart, but you do see a new little burst of convection there. The track continues to really maintain about where we had been talking the last couple of days moving toward the islands and this at this point is going to be kind of key in the future of the storm because this is where the models then start to diverge a bit once it gets toward the islands notice the models are in fairly good agreement then after that interaction with land you do start to see a little bit more of that spread from the models as to exactly where the storm would go and at what strength now the euro has been the one really down playing Elsa and it's not really initializing well, but the euro continues to indicate that after this interaction with land, the storm falls apart. That is not what the official forecast is, so we will have to wait and see. What we're going to be watching for is that continued fast motion that would likely indicate that it would not just rapidly grow in strength, that possible interaction with land. Increasing wind shear, by the way, in days four and five, it's going to be a less hospitable environment for further strengthening, as well as the strength of that subtropical risk as to when the storm would begin making that turn. All questions that we just don't know the answers to quite yet. Wetter day tomorrow, not a bad Sunday for the 4th, and then we are back into just our normal rain chances, typical summertime through next week.